So hi you guys. So um, so this video I will be quickly um, cover um, the meaning of what is consecration. So apparently this is regarding to the video that I have made earlier okay of um, the vision of consecration within myself. So um, you guys, it's appear that the Holy Spirit would like me to make an extension to that video, okay? I keep hearing him saying it's consecration and what it's all mean, right? So in that video, I have um, relay a prophetic message that I have received from last night. And within this video, the Holy Spirit have said um, in the end for this individual okay you need to understand what it means to be consecrate and so the Holy Spirit have prompted in my spirit this afternoon not long after I have just uploaded it that um, he would like me to cover okay of what being a consecration what is consecration to God is okay so in the Bible word consecration means, okay, the separation of oneself from things that are unclean, especially anything that would contaminate one relationship between, um, no, sorry, especially anything that would contaminate one's relationship with a perfect God. Consecration carries the connotation of sanctification holiness or purity okay it's importance of being consecrated pure in our relationship with god emphasized in an incident in in an incident on in the book of joshua after 40 years in the wilderness the children of israel were cross over the Jordan River into the promised land. They were then given a command and promise. Joshua told the people, consecrate yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Joshua 3, 5. So people of God were commanded to bath and change their clothes. The married couples were to devote themselves okay to the Lord the significance of this command was that in ancient time water was considered a luxury and wasn't used often for personal hygiene the bathing and change in clothes symbolized making a new beginning to the Lord the picture here is that sin is defilement Psalm 51 2 to 7 and we have to be cleansed before we can truly follow God so upon consecration upon consecrating themselves the children of Israel were assured of God's promise the Lord promised that he would do amazing things among them just as he opened the Red Sea to deliver them from the Egyptian bondage, he would open Jordan River and take them into promised land. In fact, this was just the beginning of miracle God would perform for them in the conquest of the promised land. So, another good, so the Bible tells believers to be holy people separate themselves from the world therefore come out from them and separate says the Lord touch no unclean things and I will receive you second Corinthians 6 17 so guys being consecrated okay is a critical component in our relationship to God and to those in the world Paul tells us, therefore, I urge you, brother, in view of God's mercy, to offer your body as living sacrifice, 
holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind. So you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So a true believer in Christ, the act of consecration involves, okay, our, li our lives being a living sacrifice to him. We are totally separate from defilement of the world. Each day we are to live out our lives as holy and royal priesthood to the glory of God, for we are now it's God's people. So that's the meaning of consecrations that the Lord wanted me to make. Um, and also, okay, the definition of consecration is an act of devotion. Yeah or things to the service and worship of God. Mm. Okay, so I thought I'll make a quick, um, pretty much what the Lord is saying is that you have been set apart from the world. Okay, that's what being consecration is. And um, yeah, that you are different to the world and that you are a living sacrifice to God now. And so I hope um, this helped that someone of what it's mean to be consecrated. Hallelujah. So yeah, I thought I'd make a quick video because he'd been nudging me to do it for half an hour now. So there we go. Just a short message from me. Bye, you guys.